developments in a major health scare at one of America's premier universities. Federal health officials giving the green light now to a meningitis vaccine not yet approved for use here in the United States after Princeton University reported its seventh case of meningitis this year. Let's bring in Dr. Debbie, assistant professor at NYU School of Medicine to try and figure this out. Good to see you, Dr. Debbie. Thanks for having me back. So this is so scary for parents and grandparents. You send your kids off, you're worried about everything else, and now meningitis. Why would these cases continue to be spread when the first one was March and the kids went away for the summer? Well, that's one of the things that's concerning, Gretchen. It suggests that maybe the bacteria is still living on the campus, even aside from those particular kids. It might be on computers, keyboards. It could be hanging out on glasses or drinks that people drink from. So uh, the fact that the cases are really spread out is one of the reasons that we are concerned, because it can spread to more people. And of course we're concerned because people die from this disease. There have been no deaths yet in these seven cases, but now we come to a point where maybe the school is going to vaccinate 8,000, 8, I think, students with a vaccine that's not yet approved here in the United States. How do you feel about that? Well, it sounds like a risky move, but I actually am in favor of it. The reason is, if these cases keep popping up, let's say from March until now, that means that the bacteria continues to live. So people who are coming to the campus for Thanksgiving or people who are leaving the campus around Thanksgiving time could spread it to other places. So it's important to try to vaccinate people so that at least they don't carry the bacteria elsewhere. They don't get infected with it and spread it even faster. Mm -hmm. So it takes a while for FDA, for the FDA to approve things. Uh, the fact that they're allowing it, would that mean in our minds that they might have been close to approving this? Or could it mean also, you know, sometimes people have fear of getting vaccines and they think they'll actually get the disease if they get the vaccine. Well, people are always worried about different things and there are risks. Without the rigorous FDA approval, we don't know what all of the risks are. But the reason that they're making this move is because the, the disease itself, the meningitis, is so dangerous. And the fact that they're not able to stop the spread, even with their other campaigns on the campus, right. is what makes us most concerned. You know, it'll be interesting to see whether or not the school mandates the vaccine or gives the choice to the parents of these kids. That'll be the interesting thing since it hasn't been approved. Uh, Dr. Debbie, I gotta wrap it there. Thank you so much. Thank you. These guys faced certain death at an animal shelter, but a rescue group would have none of that. The mission to find new homes for these pooches, some of them just newborn puppies.